The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the October 4th, a magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader's Zen Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this, during this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question in in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magnificent Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. That was off 420, S&P 72. NASDAQ 100 off nearly uh, 2 and 7 tenths percent, 393 points. To the downside, the Russell's off 27. Some uh, semis are off 86. Tranny's down 30. That's really not much of a move for them. Uh, you've got gold up 950, silver's up seven pennies, lights we crude up two bucks, and natural gas up 19 cents. Leading the charge, dollar wise, the upside, you've got Xenon Pharmaceuticals up 91% or 14 bucks. Dillard's, the retail store, up 10 bucks, nearly 6%. Pioneer Natural Resources, 7 bucks or 4%. Vanak Oil Services, of course, with oil being up, uh, that's to the upside. To the downside, it's Amazon, down 96 bucks. Google's off 87, Mercado Libre 70, HubSpot down 57, Shopify off 55. Let's begin by starting out, take a look at Amazon. The reason we're doing that is because that was a request that came in from uh, John O. Whoops, there's a bunch of requests now. Uh, John O, he writes, I bought Amazon today for a long-term hold at 32.5. Within minutes, I was down big. Can you please help me gauge any potential upside? Uh, thanks for all you do. This is John in uh, Denver. So uh, here we go, John. We'll take a look at the uh, charts out here for Amazon. We're looking for levels of support. So first on a daily time frame, price was trading below the bottom of its daily profile. And on Friday, price closed below the bottom of its weekly profile. Both of those are not really great news for Amazon. From a profile perspective, that would suggest that I'm looking at the monthly chart here. And price is trading into a, bear, a bullish structured monthly profile. So the bad news or the good news, depending on how you look at it, support is somewhere between 3059, we're trading at 3193, and 3237. Of course, 3237 hasn't held thus far. But prices, so downside, downside. You were asking about upside action. <clears throat> I would want to know about downside action. 3059 is a realistic target to the downside. Now, if that's going to happen, we're going to see swing points get taken out. So on a daily basis, the swing point is from right back here on August 20th. And, John, that has volume of 3.3 million shares. One ten in the afternoon, you've already got 2.6 million. So pretty odds favor that price is at least going to go test or blow away that low. And that low is 31.7576. The low today so far has been 31.80. So you really need a test and a rejection of that level. Otherwise, that could lead to a large A to B equals CD to the downside. So that'd be one thing that we're looking at. Let's go take a look at Stevie's other charts out here, see if we can find some news, some good news for John in this uh, long Amazon trade. Well, I, I would like to find good news. I can't. Uh, price is below 32.10. Now, 
this is going to be dependent upon today's close. Would I exit the position if you've held it right now through 110? I probably wouldn't at this stage here. I'm going to go look at the short-term time frame charts with you as well, see if we see any kind of signals of a bounce. So we know we're pushing that swing point. That had it was, by the way, that was a TD9 count bottom. So if price closes below that, uh, and that was, that was the low we took a look at. But let me just restate what that low was again. Or try to uh, 317576. Price closes below that, you're looking to move at least to 306250. That would be the next TD9 count breakdown uh, support level. But you could also have a large A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, price may hold 321001. Or 3193. And if price can hold that, then you do have a key level of support that is held. You don't have a bottoming signal, but you at least would have a level of support that is held. On the weekly time frame chart out here, what does Stevie's chart say? Not really providing us with anything more than what we've already taken a look at. And it's too early to really look at the weekly swing point volume versus what's going on today. So we're just going to ignore that just because it's going to provide us with no really great information. We see the bottom of that monthly profile, 3059. So now let's look at the short-term time frames. Let's go to a 30-minute chart. Actually, let's go to a 15-minute chart. So the 15-minute chart right now, just looking for something. So it does have a wave number... No, I take that back. So I'm just looking for any kind of bottom for you, and I don't have it right now. But price is with inside. It's trying to get back. It's above. It's trying to get back above its oscillator and change line. We can see that. And if it can get back into the the level, I'd be watching is 3202. If you can get a price above, if you get a close above 3202 on a 15 minute time frame chart, that would at least suggest to move to 3224. So that's what's coming from there. I don't have any kind of valid bottoming signal on a 30 minute chart. Uh, nor do I have a valid bottom yet on a 65-minute chart, nor the 130, nor the 195. So, yeah, it's not really looking great out here. But nonetheless, you're up against 32.1001. Price is trading at 31.95. I would probably have my stop underneath that low, that swing point low from August 20th. Again, that was 31.75. So I'd certainly at least put in a stop uh, inside of Amazon. John, I wish I had better news for you. Um, just got to call them the way that the uh, charts are communicating the information to us. So uh, best of luck to you on that long Amazon trade. Uh, let's go now to the general markets out here, just kind of get a feel for what is or isn't going on. So let's begin by taking a look at our TAS daily profiles out here. So if, in fact, today price closes below 42.9375, we're taking a look at the ES Mini. That's your left-hand panel chart. Its currently buy pattern will have been negated. And a close below that actually sets up a larger A to B equals CD to the downside. The one-to-one -one level would take us to 42.25.50. Now, 43.12 is the bottom of its weekly profile. And uh, price did close back above that last week. So that 43.12 level, which is where we would get a change in trend signal, um, it's really going to be at about Friday. It's not about Monday at 1.13 in the afternoon out here. But right now, what we can say is that definitely a close below 42.9375. We're trading at 42.84 right now. That's going to negate the bottoming pattern that was out there. By the way, Friday's candle session did not generate another bottoming signal, and that would then say price should target the 42.25, maybe 41.58 level. In the case of the NQ, uh, she uh, is if she closes below, he or she, whichever you prefer. Uh, I haven't made it to the theys and its and all that kind of stuff. But it closed today below uh, 14,537. This is the NQ. We're trading at 14,425. So it closed below Friday's low. Is then going to say, hey, 14,262, 13,953. Because Friday was your bull sash candle. And that was signaling a Gartley buy pattern. Now, if that level holds today at the day's close, that currently buy pattern stays in effect. So watch that level, 14, 537. That's the key inside the NQ. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So the question in the Tiger's Den right now coming from John. John says, uh, Steve, uh, the NQ, December contract, that's what we have up on the screen, 14368 14, low just now. That's a little three drive to a bottom pattern. Was that an intraday bottom as you see it? John, I don't know if we're using a 30-minute time frame chart for that. Uh, and here is, uh, I, I think that's what John would be looking at. He'd be looking at the low out here from about... 1.30 in the afternoon on September 29th. That might, well, why is not, uh, my apology. Give me a second here for my three drive tool out here. Um, I'm not sure what, uh, maybe, maybe, if I, let me see if I can do this in reverse. I know where the first drive or the first drive is. No, I can't do it in reverse. That's too bad. In any event, oh, five minute chart. Okay. Five minute chart. Look, so I won't, I won't go there. Let me, so his question basically is, um, was that an injury bottom as I see it? So let's do this, John. Let me switch over to our different, our, 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 our eight panel chart for the NQ specifically. So let's start there. Now, the shortest time frame I've got on that is 30 minutes. Uh, so I hope that that is okay uh, for you. And uh, let's go take a look at it. And by taking a look at it, what we're looking for is some type of bottoming signal. And so I'm going to look at the 30 minute chart here right now. So as I look at the other time frames, 60, 120, 240, and 5 hour, 300 minute. The only one here that has a potential bottom signal, John, is the 2 hour chart. And that, it looks like it's going to form bar number 8 of a TD9 count. So the 2 hour chart says, now that's a longer time frame than what you probably want to use out here. But still, for that time frame, that really what I want to share with you is each of the other 
intraday time frames have negated their bottoming signals. The only one to generate a potential new one at this stage here is the two-hour time frame chart. That's the exception of the, with the exception being the 30-minute chart as well. We just haven't gotten to that. So you've got that as one possibility. This bar here will complete at 2 p.m. So another 40 minutes from now, and then you've got the 4 p.m. chart, bar number nine that has to complete. So on a 30-minute basis, is there any kind of a signal of a potential bottom? Well, we were just talking about the TD9 count, and you can see right now that we are in bar number eight mode. So that's one possibility. John probably did the 30-minute count for his Chapman wave, uh, brought to us by Saratoga Bob and, of course, Basil Chapman out there, but it was Saratoga Bob that uh, turned John and John turned me on to the seventh wave moves that seem to identify market turns. So we're still in that seventh wave move. It hasn't moved over. Uh, folks, you have to have a higher low in order to complete or confirm that seventh wave move. We In this current bar that began at 1 o'clock, we have a lower low. My data, well, I don't think it'll... I don't think it'll move. Well, let me see if it moves over there. I don't think it will until, yeah, it's not going to move over there until this uh, time bar is closed, another nine minutes or so. So, and you've got a key reversal bar. Now, you have a key reversal bar if price does tick one, uh, high, one tick higher than the open of this bar. And that's questionable right now. But um, what you'd be looking for, one tick higher would be about 14, 396, 25. So if you get that, um, certainly there's an A to B equal CD to the downside as well. Although I can't draw it in, what I can do is I can certainly draw in what that pattern would look like. It looks like the the A to B point would be here. And then we can just simply, I'm just going to move this whoops, so that I can grab it properly. Just move that over to here. And we can see that price is well beyond the one to one level. So you have a potential, if that's a bullish reversal candle, of a uh, bottom out there. Now, the question would be, okay, where would price take us to? Okay, where price should take us to is os the oscillator and change line, 14488. Now, the oscillator and change line, I'm going to change this to a five-minute chart for John because that's where he saw the three drive tube pattern. And since that's where he's looking at, now everything's going to remain, well, uh, I'll just change it. I'll just change it. So let's go here to 15-minute time frame. So that's the first thing that should pop up. Okay, it's calculating. And on the and the, what's what's going to be different here is the oscillator and change line is going to and the reason why it's taken a few extra minutes here is because and why it got all squiggly because it's still using a 30 minute oscillator and change line. Uh, so let me just change that for John as well, just so we get some accuracy out here because we're trying to identify where is the level of resistance uh, that if price closes would then suggest. Uh, there may be more to this, and we'll go figure out where that more to us would take us by trying to identify some other resistance. So the first thing is, where is that on my box? Oh, I know what I can do. I'm sorry. I just need to do that here. Oh, I deleted the chart. Did I really do that? Son of a gun. Hmm. Well, uh, okay, Stevie has backup plan, game plan B. We're going to switch out of this, and uh, we're going to go to, because we would want to do this anyways. Uh, for, for So ideally, the best bottoms are going to occur when at least at least three of the four equity future contracts are generating the same type of signal. So here we've got the ES Mini, the NQ, the Dow, and the Russell 2000 along the top line. Each of those are the 30-minute chart. So what can we? What is it communicating to us as we speak right now? Well, the A to B equals CD down pattern for this time frame is certainly in effect, and uh, we had a nice bullish engulfing candle. And as long as that low, uh, that low being. 42.67.50 holds. You've got a bottoming signal. There's a bullish structured profile out here. That suggests, at least on a 30-minute chart, you should see 42.98 as the uh, price target. We've already covered the NQ. The Dow has pulled back to its breakout level of 33.729. No bottoming pattern, but that can be a bottoming pattern, just pulling back to the breakout layer area. And on the Russell 2000, let's populate this. What do we have? Um, I don't have anything here. Uh, clearly, there's an A to B equal CD to the downside. Most of you can see that, and that's been confirmed. Uh, so price should target 22.19. Now, let's see if Stevie can get back to this NQ for Johnny. Change this to a 15-minute time frame. Again, we want to just – oh, five-minute. It was five-minute, not 15-minute. My apology. Five-minute time frame. And now, instead of deleting it, I'm actually going to do what we need to do. I'm going to change that oscillator and change line. But give me a moment here. I'm going to change that to, as soon as I can find it, to the five-minute there we go. So we'll have that up on our screen. So now we're just doing the evaluation. So in the form, in the case of the five minute time frame out here, John, you have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, a TD nine count bottom. I'm sure we can find an A to B equals CD. But here's the deal. If price can close up, so your resistance levels are to the upside 14,440. 
That is a brand new profile on a five minute basis that just formed right now at 125 in the afternoon. So if price can get over 14, 422.55, the real key level that price would need to close above on a five minute basis to suggest that there's something to the five minute bottom is going to be 14, 449.25. So that really is a level to watch out there. If price gets above that, then you can switch over to that 30 minute time frame and that forecast out there. And that's how I would take a look at it. So I hope that helps you out with regard to the NQ, the five minute chart, as well as the 30 minute charts for the ES, the Dow, and the Russell 2000. All righty. Let's get to our next question out here. And the next question coming in from Michael W. Michael writes in and he says, can we take a look at Hormel Foods? HRL is the ticker symbol. So we absolutely can. Let me uh, get back to some of my other charts out here. Let's get to our three panel time frame. Let's get H. M is it H H R L H R L for Hormel kind of makes me H R L. I think of the word hurl that pops into my mind. That's not an ideal word if you're eating Hormel chili. Hey, but it is what it is. H R L. Why aren't you populating? Let me get to my white background charts. That's interesting. Is this not the uh, symbol for Hormel? Resolving symbols. What it says. And I don't know what resolving symbol actually meets out there. But let me get my other. Yeah, we go. Okay, now we got Hormel. It probably didn't think much of my comment at HRL. I, the word that comes to my mind is hurl. They were like, hey, Steve-O, hey, I'm going to make you wait some time here while you're on the air. Meanwhile, we're about to go off the air. Oh, you don't even see the charts? Yeah, because you see my. Isn't that a beautiful picture there? You know, those two beautiful rocks out there and, you know, a nice woman running and jogging. Yeah, it just looks great. But when we get back from this break, we're going to look at the Hormel charts. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in a few minutes. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at Hormel Foods for uh, Michael, who's looking for a long entry point into this. So as we take a look at the profile charts, we're going to see that prices below the daily, weekly, and monthly profile. So we're going to need to really see some bottoming signals, at least for one of these time frames, like the daily, preferably for two of them, daily and monthly out there. And we'll go take a look at that. What I do want to point out as well, though, Michael, is even if we see a bottom out here, um, you don't like the behavior that we've seen on that daily profile. In essence, where price found resistance at about the center of that bullish structure profile, 41.45. So you definitely have a battle uh, in front of you at 41.28, 41.45, 42.17 out there. But it's just a battle. So the question is, is there a valid bottoming signal? Well, let's get to it, Stevie. Let's go find out whether there is or there isn't. Okay, let's pull over the white background charts. And on the white background charts, what do we see? So here, what I see is I see a TD9 count bottom that held. I see a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal that was confirmed on Friday with a hammer candle. I see follow through today with a bullish engulfing. So, Michael, what buyers and sellers are communicating to you is they are trying to form a bottom inside of Hormel on its daily time frame chart. Again, you got that resistance, 4126, 4146, 4217, and 4288. So the daily chart is saying if you're looking for a long position, then now is the time. I would put my stop below Friday's low because that's a hammer candle. We know that if you close below the low of a bottom of a hammer candle the phrase is if you're long you're wrong out there so you're you're in a perfect spot right now to go ahead and take that long position Let's see what the weekly chart tells us the weekly chart shows a td9 count bottom this uh, formed three weeks ago yes uh, last week was a test of that low but that is held up clear there's an a to b equal cd to the downside uh, you know, you have to wait for this week to finish out, but it was a, basically a doji candle. So any close higher is going to be a uh, confirmation of the A to B equals CD pattern. But you already have a confirmed TD9 count bottom on the weekly time frame. So that gives you two reasons to go ahead and take a long position in Hormel. The monthly time frame says if we see failure of that hammer bottom, then price should get back and test the 3901 level. But uh, no bottom signal here on the monthly time frame. But what we do know is price has still held its key level of support, and that's at 3901. So a quick peek at the intraday time frames here. Uh, for Michael, if I look at the 30-minute chart, do we have any kind of signals? Not really. Nothing to, you know, that doesn't, that's neither good, that's not, that's not bad necessarily. So don't interpret that as bad. 65-minute has a TD9 count bottom. Uh, price will need to close above 41.84 to give you a change in trend signal. The 130 has a Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom. Price is going to need to close above 42.05. 195 minute has trying to generate it. Well, it does. It's got a TD9 count bottom out here and a Rhodes Momentum indicator. Yeah, so you've really got everything that you need out here, Michael, to take that uh, trade. Again, your stop should be below the low of that hammer candle that was at 40.48. So I hope that helps you out. With regard to Hormel, and best of luck to you on that trade. Next question here coming in from Nancy A. Nancy is uh, looking for, would you appreciate your take on Apple today, please? I have a short-term covered call on Apple at buck 40 Thanks. So let's pull over Apple, see what we can find out here, AAPL. Speaking of hammers, I think my re recollection is that they formed a hammer candle on Friday. Yeah, that's a, that's your that's your hammer candle. So now, uh, Nancy, you heard the expression that Michael and I used. Of course, I used it on his behalf, and that is if Apple closes below Friday's low, that low is 139.11. Your 138.86, you will have closed below the bottom of a hammer candle. I don't know what pattern may have been associated, if any, with that uh, hammer candle. We're going to go try to figure that out. But the point is, if you get a close below that, that's suggesting lower price to you. Uh, we got a close on uh, Friday below the bottom of its weekly profile. And uh, so when I take a look at the monthly, there's not a whole lot of information to help us out there. I think what I need to do, well, I can this work, daily and weekly. So let's go take a look at the daily and weekly charts as well as the 30-minute chart here for Apple. So the level of support that exists underneath that hammer candle is 137.75. So even if you do get a close blow at the bottom of that hammer candle, 137.75 is support. I close below 137.75. Let's see what today's low was out here so far, 138.27. A close below 137.75 would be bad news for sure. 
Um, let's go back and take a look at right now we're below the B point of an A to B equals CD to the downside. So we're going to go back and take a look at that momentarily on the screen. That's easier for me to draw that pattern in. The weekly chart here, Nancy, says Apple could be targeting 127.07. And if I look at a 30-minute 30, 30 chart out here, there is the potential for a bottom forming. Uh, what I mean by that is... Uh, you already have a confirmed roads momentum indicator bottom that occurred at 130. It's 135 right now because that was both a bullish engulfing candle. Look, the prior candle was a doji, so it becomes very easy to generate a bullish reversal candle. But that confirms bar number eight of a TD9 count. But more importantly, you already have the confirmation of the roads momentum indicator signal. So now, what you should expect from Apple? This is short term. Okay, and the daily says watch the bottom of the hammer. We'll go back and take a look at the potential of the A to B equals CD downside. Right now, we should see a rally up to the oscillator and change line, 139.02. If price is able to close below that, well, Apple could go ahead and target the 141 level. That is the bottom of its 30-minute profile. Another profile might form between now and whenever you'd look at the Apple chart, but right now, we go with the information that we've got. So let's go back and take a look at the uh, volume on the swing point that Apple is dealing with right now. The actual swing point is right out here from the trading day of September 20th. And that did 123 million shares. You're at 57 right now. If we multiply that times two, you know, you're getting close to that volume. You're not right at it, but you're getting close to it. And uh, so that could set up an A to B equals CD to the downside. So let's take a look at what that could be. Not there yet. Won't be there yet until we see the close today. So uh, the A point is going to be the high from 9.7. The B point is going to be the low from 920. That's what we were looking at from a swing standpoint. And the C point is going to be a shallow retracement in the sub 24th. And, you know, it's a 0.382. It was 38.77 to be exact. So the 1 to 1 takes you to 131. The 1.27 takes you to 127. And that's really in play uh, out here, especially if you see a close below Friday's low combined with, you know, that will certainly be a low then between below 141.27. It's A to B equals CD. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Nancy. Um, did we see any bottoms in there on the daily basis? Yeah, we said there was a, did we? I can't remember. Uh, let me just look at the chart here because I don't remember. Sorry about that. Let me take a quick peek here. Uh, yeah, no bottom signal, no bottom signal at all out here. So, uh, Nancy, I hope that that helps you out with regard to Apple. Thanks so much for writing in and uh, have a great day as well. Uh, last question I've got here so far by email at 1.37 in the afternoon is coming in from David H. in Tom Ball, Texas. And David wants to take a look at ticker symbol COP. That's ConocoPhillips. And let's get that uh, going on our three-panel screen out here. Let's finish reading the question. Uh, can you give me your support and resistance levels for ConocoPhillips? It's the uh, stock getting close to the upper. Is this stock getting close to the upper end of a rising price channel on a weekly chart? Um, well, let's take a look at what uh, ConocoPhillips is doing. So you're trading out at 71.89. You've got good volume behind this move out here. Eight million shares. Price above daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. So with regard to resistance levels, we're going to have to uh, uh, go take a look. So you've got this is likely targeting this being ConocoPhillips is likely targeting a swing point out here from October 1st. And that swing point is. Um, up at 80.24. At the high, the low is 77.59. So that is, David, the next likely price target. We're about to go to a break here. We come back to the break. We'll look at my white background charts. I'll uh, take a look around at the weekly time frame. That's what we've got up on our screen here. And you were looking at a price channel. I see the trend line, I believe, that you're looking at. So we'll draw that in for folks as well. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. We're looking at the weekly chart here for ConocoPhillips, ticker symbol there is COP. This is for David H. in Tombaugh, Texas. And he began the uh, uh, the email asking about the uh, price channel. So I've drawn in, I believe, the price channel he's looking at. Now, this would be, I would call this more of a trend channel because I'm using the, uh, the highs of the swing points versus the bodies of the candle out here. But that's okay. Uh, but the question is, you know, are we getting close to that uh, channel line? Uh, the answer looks to me to be yes. But let's go look at our other time frame charts and see what other signals we might be able to find out here. So let's pull over the, and again, a little rocket ship. And do we see any signs of a top out there? Well, on a daily basis, you are in bar number seven of a TD9 count. We know that if a top is going to form with that pattern, that we'll see that occur on bars eight, nine, the bar following nine. So that says tomorrow through Thursday has a potential for a top out here. That's on the daily time frame. The last TD9 count pattern that formed out here was negated immediately. And that was on the trading day of September 24th when that TD9 count uh, formed. And the very next day, you had a gap to the upside, talked about a strong momentum move. And in fact, that's what we're seeing play out. On a weekly basis out here, price is moving higher. It did have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal trigger, but now that is gone. So this is going to be the second gap to the upside that I see on this move higher. Price is above TD9 breakdown resistance level. So uh, ConocoPhillips looks bullish here. Its next upward price target, uh, uh, David, is going to be a 74.10 monthly time frame chart for ConocoPhillips. What do we have? We do not have any kind of a topping signal. So again, price is likely headed back to that prior swing point. That was a bearish engulfing. That's resistance. That is uh, 80.24 is its likely price target out there. So I hope that helps you out with regard to ConocoPhillips, COP, again, being the ticker symbol. And uh, thanks so much for writing in. Let's see if we've got any other questions out here that have come in. And uh, the answer is um, no on the email. Oh, I take that back. There are, there's one, but I see some of the Tiger's Den. So let's get to the Tiger's Den first. And inside the Tiger's Den, the first question was about what did you want, Dan? It was HP, I think, was it? Uh, where? Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, my apology. I'm just looking through the uh, 
Tiger's Den to see if I can come up with it. Uh, I think it's HP. Dan, tell me if the, I'm wrong on that. But I think it, yeah, HP says, okay, great. So let's uh, pull out HP, and I apologize. I don't remember call what you're looking for. I think support or resistance. So let's take a look at the, let's, we're going to give it to you anyways. Let's look at the TAS market profiles. The only resistance in the TAS market profiles comes from the weekly chart, and that's in the 3125 level. That's the top of the weekly profile. So support then, because price right now is trading above the top of its bear structured profile, and that's at 28.67. Dan, if price closes above that today, then 28.67 old resistance may become the new support level out here. In the monthly, we're just going to simply stay away from that. So let's pull over and the charts for HP, uh, my white background charts that is, see if we find anything else out here. Uh, although I said let's stay away from the monthly. Uh, we're not uh, because I've got the monthly chart that just popped up on the screen. So here's what we know about the monthly chart. This did form a valid TD9 count top on June, the, the month of June. And ever since then, price has pulled back a little bit, but price remained above the top of that profile. So really, the monthly chart, even though it's got a valid top, it's really more neutral to bullish with price being above the top of that monthly profile. So that's an important piece of information. Let's go look at the weekly time frame chart. And on the weekly time frame chart, this formed a nice TD9 count bottom. It did it back on the week of, well, i going to get my cross here, out here. That was the week of uh, August 20th. So you have a nice uh, confirmed TD9 count bottom. Price above the oscillator and change line, it's green, that's bullish, and that suggests on a weekly basis, price should target 31 and a quarter or 34.19. Above 34.19, you have a change, in, a change in trend signal on HP. Now let's get to the daily time frame. As we mentioned in the daily time frame, price is above the top of that daily profile. That's a bullish message out here, and I don't have anything more to report on that. This is bar number eight, Dan. And if this is going to identify, is this going to form a top with a TD9 count? We don't know whether it will or it won't. Then that top would form between today and Wednesday. So just simply be on the lookout. And, of course, then you'd want to go down to a short-term time frame chart, such as a 30-minute chart, and see if any levels of support are being broken. If they are, that tells you, you know, you're, you're likely that the TD9 count is going to generate more downside action on the daily basis. And that downside action would be what? That would take you at least to the top of that profile, which I said was potential support, old resistance, 2867 becoming new support. If price closed below that, then you'd be looking at the oscillator and change line as a uh, price target. So right now, HP looks uh, very good. Potential short-term top out here uh, between today and uh, Wednesday out there. And that was HP. Uh, let's see if there's any other questions in the Tiger's Den. Yeah, there was one from SNP who wanted to take a look at Fang. So let's go take a look at uh, Fang. That is Diamondback Energy. Big move today again with good volume behind it. Uh, it's up above the daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. In the case of Fang, it's up above the top of the July 1st swing point. That had 5.5 million. You're there with 2.7. Seems like a little bit light in the loafers. Doesn't matter. Uh, does, it, does it matter is the question. The answer is no. You close above that, you know, you're likely off to higher price. Now, with regard to higher price, uh, I should have got that going on my white background chart. So I'm going to start that up right now. Let's see if there's – so you're above monthly swing points, weekly swing points. Boy, this is looking uh, very promising. Let's go see if there's any potential for a topping signal that SNP has to be concerned with. So let's take a look at the daily time frame. And we're going to see as we open this up is today is going to form bar number nine of ATD nine count. So SNP, it says a potential top between today and or tomorrow. Remember, a higher high can occur on the bar following bar number nine does not negate the pattern out there. Um, so that's what you'd be looking at. I don't see a reason to sell the position or anything just yet, but to be cautious and understand. The reason I don't see a reason to sell the signals because I wouldn't have anything on any kind of short-term time frame as a uh, break of any kind of valid support out here. So I'm just looking at a 30-minute, 15-minute now with a 30-minute chart. It had a TD9 count pattern. Price is negating that. That says price should move higher for that specific time frame. 65-minute, uh, you're in a TD9 count top out here. So I'd watch these short-term time frames. That was a 65-minute. We use 65 because we break our day, our 390-minute day, into equally timed bars. And I know somebody says, what's the difference between 60 and 65? Well, it's called the last bar. And so when you take a look at uh, candlestick charting, for sure, we take a look at these patterns. We really want to have equally timed bars to the extent that we can. 
And in this case here, we most certainly can. So the short-term time frame charts may be generating a signal for USNP. You know, we've got these TD9 counts just like we looked at the 30-minute. That uh, pattern has been negated or is being negated as we speak right now. Um, this 30-minute chart is going to end, obviously, in 20, uh, 10 minutes out here. The 65-minute, this is the bar that follows bar number 9. So this chart is going to close. Let's see, can I give you a time? That would be helpful. I don't know. Let me see out here if this is going to... 13.50. Oh, oh, we just got it. There we go. 13.50. And then that was the end of the bar. We just started the new bar out here. So this is kind of cool because if price closes above that high, and that high is the high of this bar is 104.40. That tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside out there. Uh, so at this stage here, the only thing we see that's potential danger for you is a TD9 count top, but I would not uh, exit or jettison this position, not at this stage out there. So hope that helps you out, S&P. Best of luck to you on that uh, trade. And uh, folks, we'll be back in just a few minutes to close it up with our two-minute wrap. Stay with us. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Welcome back, up, folks. Let's take a look at that. We've got two questions that have come in uh, during the breakout here. One for Vicky, who is looking for an entry into the XLU. So when I take a look at the daily time frame chart out here, Vicky, what I don't have is any kind of bottom signal just yet. And yeah, it looks like this nine count pattern could even uh, 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 go away today. If price, in fact, closes, no, I take, yeah. If price closed, yeah, it's going to go away. So there's not going to be a T, even a TD9 count. Plus, the low is on bar number five at this stage. Um, so I don't have anything as a bottom signal for you on the daily time frame, on the weekly chart out here. Price is below the weekly profile, so I don't have any signal for you there. On a 30-minute time frame, we can see a nice TD9 count, Rose momentum indicator bottom, back at about 1.30. This is back on September 28th. And uh, since then... We've really just kind of had a sideways move out here. So if you're going to use a 30-minute chart as a gauge, Vicky, you need to see a close above 64.67 to suggest that there might be a bottom. Maybe the XLU is not going to give one of Stevie's bottoming patterns out there. Don't know, but uh, close above that level that we just talked about would suggest higher price. The next question coming in from Hector and the fuel injectors. And Hector wants to take a look at Newmont Mining. Uh, having good price action. However, the volume is very light. Thought. So let's go take a look at the uh, Newmont Mining's chart. Let's look at the daily time frame. NEM is the ticker symbol, folks. And this formed a nice Rhodes momentum indicator. Well, we don't know if it's nice or not, but it formed a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom in a TD9 count on the trading day of September 28th. Price is trying to get back inside its profile, daily profile. So the real counter trend resistance level is where price is find finding resistance at the that's at the center of that bullish structured profile. And that exactly is priced at 54.83. If price can close about 54.83, then 55.71 would be next up. And after that, 56.98. Thoughts? You've got the bottoming signals that you need. All we have right now is just a sideways move. So, Hector, thanks for writing in. Everybody, thanks so much for listening to the show. Uh, we've got two more great hours coming up. David White with the Power Trading Hour. Tom O'Brien, he'll bring us on home. And I'll see you back tomorrow, Tuesday, on Terrific Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Have a magnificent Monday, folks. Thanks for being here.